So this is the inside of Rabbi Memron's book. And it says here, right here, the dove kabul, to cling to him. Now, he writes here the ultimate connection. So he wants to say the dove ache is to be connected. But it's more, much more, much, much more than connected. So today we're going to take a look at some of the more of the technique of what we have to explain, expect. Because I think a Rabbi Memra is going to say in this little piece that this is not a complicated thought. But the problem is it's very difficult to get to it. What is the thought? The thought is the ability to be able to look at our thoughts and our emotions and find connect ourselves with the real the real me, the real you. Let's go over here to this uh, this chapter. It's called Resistance from the Emotional Ego. He says, we'll just read the English. It is written in the Torah, Love Hashem your God. It is known that this mitzvah is the foundation for the entire Torah. And it will lead a person to true success. What's the success? To be able to actualize his Kedusha. Since through loving Hashem, because that's what it is, the love Hashem, this will eventually lead to the vacas with Hashem and to cre creating a oneness. And if you listen to the other shiram that we're doing here, we're always constantly talking about yichud. The whole idea is to bring opposites into oneness because, in fact, Hashem is only one. As it is written, you shall love Hashem your God and cleave to him. This is the vacas. Now let's look over here and let's start reading and see if we can get a hold of the central core of the idea that Rabbi Mimron wants to tell us. He says, the process we have just described is not at all complicated, yet it is profoundly powerful. It is so simple that a child could learn it, and hopefully one day it will be one of the first things children are taught in school. Once you understand and experience this basic ancient principle of what? Of being aware, being the observer of what happens inside of you. He's speaking intellectually in terms of your mind, what your mind is doing, and in terms of your emotions, what's happening. You will have at your disposal the most important, he says, excuse me, potent transformational tool available. Something so simple. Nevertheless, though, try it. When you try to break the bonds that tie you to your pain, so you no longer identify with your pain, with it, you may encounter intense inner resistance. Why would you encounter resistance? He says, so many of us have lived most of our lives closely identified with our emotional ego, and much of our sense of self is invested in it. This means that we have allowed our emotional ego to form us into unhappy people. And we believe that this state of mind, he says this state of mind made fiction, is who we are. I am a radical. I'm a Democrat. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Of course, this is not true. That's not who we are. The self that has been sucked into the painful world of the emotional ego is not stuck there. It has the power to liberate himself, that is, the person, can liberate himself or herself at any time. But our human nature will strongly resist change, even a change for the better. We have identified with the emotional ego for so long that we might be paralyzed by an unconscious fear of losing our identity. This is who I am. This is how I think. This is how I feel. And that is me. Humans naturally run to, want to remain in their comfort now, zones. You don't want to change. Even if there is nothing very comfortable about it at all. Nothing that can be profound there. There's nothing there. Most people would prefer to be in pain, but it's the pain that you know. To let themselves be the emotional ego, and now you are the fighter for what your emotions are telling you. 
So that, that was where people would like to be. There, rather than to take a leap out of it, to get away from it, into unknown territory, because really, we don't really know what's on the other side. And then what happens is, we would be worried about risk losing their familiar, unhappy self. I can call my therapist at any time. Does any of this ring true for you? If so, the way to overcome this resistance, this is the feeling that you'll be happy just, you know, going through this cycle over and over and over again. So he said, is to observe it within yourself. It's a very simple word. He has these simple words like aware, observe. And I really like the word observe. Observe your attachment to your pain. The peculiar pleasure you derive from being unhappy. You'll overcome it. Observe your compulsion to talk or think about your pain. You really need to talk about it. You need to talk. You need to fight with it. You need to be able to do what you need to do to, to change it. If you make all this resistance conscious, but now you become aware of the fact that you're resisting, the resistance itself will stop. This is Baruch Fleischman of the Tikkun Elevator Call, and also saying this year, the very short year, on the, the Vegas channel with Rabbi Mimra.